So what makes ISL unique is the fact that we help small businesses grow their business, starting off with the simple financial products like card payments, but also adding on other types of financial services that, that can suit their needs. Second, we're the first uh, mobile payments company in the world to provide small businesses with a free chip and pin reader to really get them started and uh, get them across the first hurdle, taking payments. And third, the way we onboard small businesses is pretty unique. If you compare iSettle to any bank, for example, the way you sign up with us is a five minute process where you don't need to go to your local branch office or to actually meet anyone or wait for a reply. You get your answer straight away and you're up and running in no time. The most important attributes for an innovative company like iSettle, I think, is the fact that you, you need to kind of embrace change. You need to like difficulties because this is uh, seriously a big roller coaster ride. Um, one day you're the king of the hill and the next day you're really worth nothing. So, uh, I mean, the, the most important thing is really to look at challenges as, as opportunities. And uh, remember that nothing is impossible, but the impossible just takes a bit longer. I think the impact of ISL and the way we can improve the world is uh, pretty interesting. I mean, when we started this, uh, we came to realize that sort of the, the, the micro merchants of the world and the small businesses that are, you know, the typical company is between one to three employees. So these companies are small, uh, but on an aggregate level, they actually do account for roughly 20 to 30 percent of the GDP in any given market, which is pretty substantial. However, banks tend not to like uh, these types of businesses because they are too small, they don't give the, the proper return. So if we can help these companies sort of really grow their business from the one employee they might have to another employee, and just looking at the, the potentially across Europe, for example, where there are 20 million businesses like this. And if you look across Europe, there are roughly 20 million people unemployed. So if we can help these companies grow from you know, being one employee to two employees, we could just make a small impact. We could actually uh, do something pretty good for the economy.